just doesn't feel right today. Oh, I know what you mean, Tammy, but I just don't know what what it is. I don't know how to fix it. I don't either, but you know what? Let's just ask God to help. I know he'll lead the way for us. Yeah, and I know he'll help us. We just got to ask. Yeah. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome back to Simply Love Sunday School. <laughs> uh, do you remember our friend Savannah? She is our Bible memory buddy for this month, and she's been helping us learn our Bible verse. You remember where it's from? It is from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18. Let's practice saying it. I think we're just going to do it one time today because I know you all remember it. We'll do the actions with it right away. Here we go. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep God's love is. In our lesson for today, we're going to learn just about how much we need God's love and His help. I really feel like I need God's help today. Oh, and every day, Tammy. That's true. This is another really important lesson, so we're very glad that you're here with us this morning. Boys and girls, are you ready for this week's This or That Challenge? Remember, Savannah, the question for today is not just about Savannah, but all giraffes, okay? We want to talk about a giraffe's heart and how long it is. So here's the question. Do you think a giraffe's heart is six inches long or two feet long? Okay, so if you think a giraffe's heart is six inches, I want you to hold your fingers like this. If you think a giraffe's heart is two feet long, I want you to put your hands out like this. So go ahead, everybody. Bonnie, what do you think? It couldn't be two feet, could it, Tammy? Well, you want me to give you the answer? Yeah. Okay, boys and girls, I want your help. I'm going to set the sign down. I'm going to ask you for a drum roll. So let's have you go like this on your hands. And the answer is a giraffe's heart is two feet. It really is. No way. It is. I know. It's shocking. Why don't we take a look at our video? Savannah's going to talk about that and a whole lot more. Hey there, friends. I'm Savannah, and I'm a giraffe. I'm the tallest mammal in the world. I've got a big heart. <laughs> no, really, I do. My heart is two feet long and it weighs about 25 pounds. That's about how much a two-year-old child weighs. It takes a lot of food to fill me up, so I spend most of my day eating. Mmm. My tongue helps me grab tasty leaves and pull them right off the trees. God made my tongue in a special way. It's colorful, see? My tongue's a special color. It's kind of blue. Ew. That way, it won't get sunburned when I'm grabbing my snack. Yum! My long tongue acts kind of like your fingers. It helps me pluck the leaves off the tree branches. But it's hard to take a really big bite, so I just keep munching through the day. <coughs> Friends, my long tongue and my big heart don't even begin to measure up to God's massive love for us. In the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18, it says, And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. In the Bible, we read about Adam and Eve eating from a tree in the Garden of Eden. Let me tell you, they didn't eat tasty leaves. Adam and Eve both ate fruit from a tree God said was off limits. A sneaky snake told Adam and Eve they could disobey God and do what they wanted to do instead of what God wanted. That's sin. Adam and Eve's sinful choice could have separated them from God forever. But guess what? God still loved them and took care of them. We all make bad choices sometimes. Sometimes we're mean instead of nice. Sometimes we don't listen. Sometimes we want our own way. We want to be in charge. But no matter what, God still loves us. 
His heart is bigger than mine, and it's filled with love for you. God sent His only Son, Jesus, to forgive our sin and to be our forever friend. We can always talk to Jesus, and He'll help us choose God's way. How amazing is that? I'm so glad God always loves us. And I'm glad God always loves us too, Savannah. Mm -hmm. Me too. Even when we sin or do things we're not supposed to. And you know what? We all sin. Even Adam and Eve, the very first people God created in this world. That's right. Boys and girls, it is time for our Bible story. So if you could please look in your take-home bags and get your story Bible. It is time for Bible stories with Ms. Becca. Today she's going to read to us how sin entered God's world. Let's listen. Good morning, boys and girls. It is time for another story from our story Bible. Remember, when you hear the chimes, that means it is time to turn the page. Please open up to page 29, where we'll be taking a look at the fall and the flood. God made everything good. He blessed the world. He blessed the plants and animals. He blessed Adam and Eve. He gave them a garden. He blessed their special day of rest. He told them to have a family. Everything was very good. I wonder, what will happen next in the Garden of Eden? What promise will God make to Adam and Eve? Sin enters the world. Now, the serpent was tricky. He said to the woman, did God really say, do not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said, we may eat the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, do not eat the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden. Do not even touch it or you will die. The serpent said, you will not die. God knows that when you eat the fruit, you will be like God. You will know good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food. She wanted to be wise, so she took its fruit and ate. She gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then their eyes were opened. They knew that they were naked. They sewed fig leaves together and made clothes. They hid themselves from God. But God called to the man. He said, Where are you? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then God said to the woman, What have you done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed. I will make you and the woman en enemies. Her offspring shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman, God said, I will give you pain when you have children. To Adam, God said, The ground is cursed because of you. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread. You will return to the ground. You are dust, to dust you shall return. The man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. And the Lord God made clothes for Adam and for his wife. God sent Adam and Eve out of the garden. Near the garden, God placed the cherubim and a flaming sword. It turned every way to guard the tree of life. Thank you, Rebecca, for sharing our Bible story with us today. Even though God's first friends, Adam and Eve, did something sad and wrong, God still loved them. He sure did. Boys and girls, have you ever seen a snake? I don't like them, they scare me. <laughs> well, the snake in our Bible story today pretended to be friends with Adam and Eve. But do you know what? He was really just trying to get them to disobey God. Boy, that snake was sure sneaky. He sure was. That snake who really 
The devil tricked Adam and Eve and they sinned. Mm -hmm. And the devil tricks us too and tries to tell us to do things we shouldn't. Yeah, exactly. The truth is, Adam and Eve aren't the only people who sin. We are all dirty with sin. And we just can't get rid of it by ourselves. We need help. And that's where Jesus comes to our rescue. Jesus is our hero. He is our savior. We couldn't go to heaven without his help. Jesus came to earth and lived a perfect life. He died on the cross and took the punishment for our sins. Amazing. Mm -hmm. He then rose again and went up into heaven. Right, and that's where we're going to get to be one day, thanks to Jesus. Because of Jesus, we are washed clean from the dirt of all of our sins. I think it's time to wash this dirt off. Jesus washed our sins away. Let us wash this dirt off. It feels better to be clean, doesn't it? Well, somewhat. We're <laughs> yes. getting there. We're getting there. Doesn't happen overnight, you know. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Much, much, much better. I think things are looking better, Bonnie. I think so, Tammy. All right. When we are sorry for our sins, everybody, and we ask God to forgive us, he washes us clean. And the Bible tells us, that it uses these words, that we are white as snow. Now that is amazing. Sure is. We're going to work on a craft project now that's going to help us remember our lesson for today. So be sure to have your take-home bags close by. Sounds good. Okay, you ready for our craft project? In your your little bag that you have, you should have a sheet of hearts. You should have a paper plate with a hole in it. It's not going to work very good for lunch. <laughs> and you should have a piece of yarn and some crayons yep. and a glue stick. Okay, so that's what you're going to need for the project for today. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your plate and I want you to color the outside of it whatever probably a darker color because that's going to represent sin mm -hmm. and remember remember Tammy and I we were black we were dirty so kind of like dirt that's going to be sin okay so we're going to color your paper plate keep coloring okay and then Sample, right? Tammy's got, got one use. for me. And we got it all colored. We use black on this one to represent the sin. Okay, so then take your hearts and I want you to color those all different colors, but make sure that you have red hearts on there, okay? Because right. these red hearts, mm -hmm. they're going to represent Jesus' blood and how it washed our sins right. away. But one thing they want to make sure to do too is to keep one heart white. And then that's we're going right. to have you draw yep. a cross on it, just like the one Bonnie Just like has. this one, okay? Make sure that's important because you'll see what that's for. So we have all of our hearts already colored. We have, so, we have red ones because they're important because, mm -hmm. remember, that's Jesus' blood. And then we have all multiple colored ones. So you're going to take your hearts and you, we're going to just use tape because it's going to be easier. And we're going to take all of our hearts on the outside of our paper plate. You got to cut them out after you get them colored. Okay? I'll hand you some tape okay. too, and we'll do this together. Let's make and this go quicker. Yep. Make a okay. Mix of colors, and we want to try to cover up all the blackness of our sin, just like Jesus' blood covered over our sins, and we are forgiven when we do things that are wrong and we do things that we're not supposed to do or we we don't do things we are supposed to do we know that we ask God to forgive us and thanks to Jesus we are forgiven our sins are washed away still have this heart left okay this is the important one put some tape, tape on there Tammy uh, right, you got it And this one, you'll notice, is white. Just like we're wearing our white shirts, this is to remind us what the Bible says. Thanks to Jesus. Because Jesus died on the cross, all of our sins, the darkness of sins, they're washed away, and we are white as snow. We are. And so we're going to put our white heart right on the top 
of our re to remind us that we are washed clean thanks to Jesus. Here's our heart wreath. So take your piece of yarn that you have, okay? Put your white heart at the very top and we're gonna tape that onto the back, fold it over in half. And we're gonna tape that on the back and there, you can hang it up. Ready to hang up, awesome. What a great project for our lesson for today. Good, have fun everybody. What a great lesson today. I agree. There is simply nothing we can do on our own to get rid of our sins in our lives. That's right. Sin is like a sickness that leads to death, but love makes all the difference. God loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to take away our sins. He did. Jesus made a way for us to be forgiven and live with him forever in heaven. Let's have a prayer together, everyone. Dear Jesus, we come to you at the end of our Sunday School lesson today, and we thank you so much for giving all you had. You gave your life for us because of the dirtiness of our sin. We couldn't do anything about it, but you could, and you did. You love us so much that you died on a cross, but you rose again three days later. You went up into heaven, and we know that because of your sacrifice, because of what you did for us, we get to be in heaven one day too. We thank you for your love. We ask you to help us to share that great news with as many other boys and girls and as many people as we possibly can. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, spend a little time later on coloring or reading through your take-home lessons for today. Mm -hmm. They look like you've got samples right got there, right Bonnie. Here. Yep. Here's today's. For our younger kids, it's Sin Enters the World. Here's your coloring page. Um, and on the back, Savannah <laughs> and our Bible verse. That's for our little kids. And for the older kids, here's your parent page, Sin Enters the World, with, again, instructions for your plane, your flyer, I should say. Now, Alyssa folded this one up for me, too. And by the way, yesterday we had a football, not a flyer. So I just wanna, we did. I want you to look real closely at your, your lessons from last week. But uh, here's today's airplane. And Alyssa guarantees me that one's gonna fly a lot farther than that first one. So let's, let's give it a shot. This is our flyer for this week. Whoa, Whoa, it was that's a, a lot better. It was yes. a <laughs> hey, do any of you have any special prayer requests this week? If you do, put them in the comments right below and then join us right back here Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, and we'll do all of our prayers together. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to end today with a great song, and it is called One Thing Remains. Remember, God loves you. Have a great week, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye.
runs up and never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up. It never runs out on me.